Hello people of this wonderful life, it's time to share. Let's start sharing! Okay, I wanted to talk about empaths. I, it's so difficult to pronounce this word. Being an empath. The reason why I want to share this is because um, in my Facebook timeline, I, I don't know why, but I kept on seeing blog post about empaths being victims of narcissist type of the narcissist type yeah and I don't like that because I like empowerment I don't like the victim role okay so first let's talk about what is a empath I believe we are all empaths on a certain level, but some of us are just more in tune with energy because everything is energy. They're just more in tune with feeling, with the things they hear, with the sensation, all sensations, you know, is more feeling. So yeah it can be really confusing to be an empath once you don't realize you are one because the thing with being an empath is that you um, pick up energy from the people around you and you take them as your energy so yeah that sounds already confusing to me imagine being someone who feels very deeply and that person goes to a place where there are a lot of people well that can be really draining because whenever you feel so you feel so deeply yeah it's it's kind of draining once you don't know how to handle your handle it so I'm still dealing with this um, and it all has to do with awareness I guess being aware of certain energies that are just not yours and how to deal with that so what I'm trying to do is whenever I feel this energy and I don't like it and it's not, it's not my energy because I work in a store so I work with a lot of people around me I just need to get away from that person and it's not even personal but I just don't really know how to um, have my boundaries and yeah as an empath you feel everything you feel everything I mean I was watching earthlings maybe five years ago you should check that movie out um, if you wanted to cry your eyes out, if you want to have your heart ripped apart, you have to watch Earthlings. That's just a rem <laughs> that's just a low key uh, message to watch Earthlings, um, because it was about animals being slaughtered, and damn, I felt my heart being poured out. My heart was literally hurting it was just hurting me yeah so after that movie after watching earthlings i just decided not to eat animals anymore because whenever i would um, eat an animal after that like chicken or hamburger i would just see the animals being taken to the slaughterhouse just waiting to die to be slaughtered in so yeah I just started being more um, aware with what I am eating because these this food you're eating you are what you eat they say right and I don't want to be dead energy. I don't. I don't want to be something that has been killed and that has been feeling this fear. I don't want to eat fear. That's that's the way I see it. 
So yeah, I think empaths also have the tendency to become vegetarians or vegans because they, whenever they see animals being abused, it really gets to the heart. It's really painful. Whenever I was watching the news, I was becoming so sad uh, and it's like unbearable. All this all this um all this pain in the world you know it's like you are carrying the world on your shoulders and you cannot even do something about it so yeah you feel everything really deeply and even when i was younger i would just ask myself why am i this soft cooked egg and it's so dutch to say because it's the saying you are a soft egg I was thinking, why am I this soft egg? Can I not be a hard cooked egg? I mean, can I not just toughen up? Why do I feel everything so deeply? I don't want to feel anymore. But what helped me with later on in my life that it's better to feel than actually not feel at all. If you can feel the, the depths of your own soul, you know that with that feeling, you can get the highest of the highest feeling there is. And that's like ecstasy without taking drugs. Just a high normal state. If you can feel the lowest of the low with every single cell of your body, you can also feel the opposite of that. So I'd rather just feel than not feel at all because not feeling at all that's just more scary than anything in this world another thing that empaths love is alone time because this is the time to really reconnect with yourself to recharge your energy and go out there again so yeah when I was younger I mean I'm the only child but I was never alone never ever was I alone um, I could always entertain myself, you know, um, yeah, so being alone, I just love being alone, um, to, re to reconnect with myself, to recharge, yeah, so that's another trait of being an empath. For example, you're uh, in, a in a group with people, your mood is you have this happy mood and someone in the group is having a bad mood and you can see it on the person's face but the thing is you also feel it you become the emotions you become the emotion whenever someone is feeling happy you feel the happiness too you, you feel light, you feel the love so it's really important to know whenever something's not right. And but um, I wanted to talk more about the the blessing part because the blessing part is that there are certain parts in your life where you feel these beautiful moments where you just feel the love inside your body and everything, and you don't even have a, a external reason for it it just comes from within because you feel so deeply and it's like this connection with everything this oneness feeling it's you are the ecstasy without the ecstasy you are the love itself and that's whenever you are in that state nothing can really um, get to you nothing can really have an impact on you as an as an empath um, because you're really solid with that feeling um, and that's you know whenever you, when you are an empath you really know when you have these certain moments and it's it's really um, powerful and I also feel sometimes 
it feels like a godlike feeling or something. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like seeing the world with the eyes of a child, of a child in its pure form. And yeah, it's like you. That's why I, I, I just love to feel so deeply. Um, for example, the wind. It's like seeing the world with the eyes of a child, of a child in its pure form. And yeah, it's like you. That's why I, I, I just love to feel so deeply. God just waves. Motionless.